Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to J Straight Up Reviews and more. All right, I finally got the W King X20 in today, earlier today. I've listened to it for a few hours at some higher volumes, also. Battery life really hadn't gone down a whole lot, so on the surface, it would seem the battery is pretty good, other than sometimes they get below 50%, they do deplete quicker. So I can't really say as far as that goes. Now, one thing I have noticed, like right now, if you run a standard EQ, which I'm running within their app, it's called Melody. It's like the standard EQ it starts out with. You can see the line is just flat. So it's basically just a flat EQ. Now, if you turn the bass boost on, it kind of darkens up the sound. So you lose, you lose some of that clarity and detail that you had. Turn it back off. So I think going forward, I'm not going to use Bass Boost much at all because within the app itself, you can create a custom EQ and you can increase the bass from there if you want or the highs, mids and lows, whatever. So right now, here's the custom EQ I'm running. I have the upper range boosted up a little bit and the lower range boosted up a little more than that. And on this app, you can't see it doesn't have lines, it doesn't have the numbers, but it bottoms at 30 hertz on the low end. So that's what we're gonna be running is the custom EQ. And as far as the JBL Boombox 3 goes, I don't normally run the upper range boosted up any, but I've got the highs boosted up a little and the lows boosted up a little. So we'll try that. So right now we're at 27%. Put your headphones on if you have them, not the Dollar Tree, preferably. And this is the W King at 27%. Bass boost off, custom EQ. Boombox. W King. Boombox. Let's go up to forty percent on the boombox. W King. Boombox. Change track. Still on the boom box. Let's go up to 60%. W King. Change track, still on the JBL. Let's rock it. Come on, Kiss. They say, we don't know this song. W. King. Oh yeah. Boombox. Change track, still on JBL. Let's go 
check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. has really good bass but it may not quite be overall the low end might not be quite there with the jbl it's really pretty darn good though i mean all things considered with this speaker i think right now the price is 225 loudness wise the jbl if you plug it in it'll get a little bit louder it's not plugged in these are run off the battery jbl still is probably just a little bit louder especially at max volume but i think the where the w king has the advantage is not in the bass really it's in the more open and click and the clear sound that it has it does seem to have a more open sound the jbl sounds a little more closed in so the three-way design of the w king with the two mid-range the wolf one single racetrack shape woofer and two tweeters i think kind of helps out with the sound stages and the openness of it so, and I've listened to some other music. I've been listening to some Shine Down, some Pop Evil, and Foo Fighters, a lot of rock music. Rock music can, can tend to sound kind of muddy in some of these speakers, especially if they just have two full range drivers, like a left channel and a right channel. Everything playing through, through those can sound a little kind of like muddled up sounding. You don't have 
real good separation and clarity a lot of times, whereas the W King seems to have pretty good in that area, probably more so than the JBL. So take it for what it is. I still think the JBL has the edge in base output. And like I said, if you plug it in, it's going to get even a little bit better at base and output. So the JBL is still a little louder, but I think the W King for the price, like I said, is 225. If this gets down below 200, this will probably be the speaker to beat. And I wouldn't doubt it if it doesn't end up being 199. At 225, it's not overpriced. That is probably the highest W King speaker that's been released in America, at least the highest priced. But I think for what you're getting, it is not a bad price. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below on this one. The W King is definitely a really good speaker. One I would definitely recommend. And as far as weight goes, they're both very heavy. So, but the, W King does come with a shoulder strap also. So like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Do it today. It costs you nothing. It's free. And as the whole band Kiss will tell you, this channel is always worth every bit of nothing. I will have more videos of the W King coming out. I will do a full, full on review of the speaker soon. And we'll probably put it up against a couple others. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Everybody stay safe. That is a wrap.